Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. I guess this is a problem that says the rigid metal strip of negligible weight is used as a part of this electromagnetic switch. If the stiffness, the stiffness of the springs A and B is K at 5 newtons per meter, and the strip is originally horizontal when the springs are unstretched, determine the smallest force F to close the contact gap at C. So, this is problem. Uh, this problem, the first thing you gotta understand is that the way you're looking at the image is not really the way that uh, that you have to draw the free body diagram. You have to draw the free di body diagram when the contacts at C are touching. So in reality, it's going to look something like this. At an angle, this is going to be pulling up. The force applied, let's call it FC, FA, and sorry, this is FB, not FA, and this is FA. There we go. Now, now that being said, I'm going to do some of the moments here to try and determine um, a, a relationship between A and F. So going counterclockwise is positive. Sum of the moments at B is equal to zero and is equal to F of A times 0.05, which is the distance from here to here. And the moment created by F of A going counterclockwise, so it's positive, minus F of C at 0.05. So as you can see from this equation, F of A is equal to F of C, or F. Now, if you do some of the, sorry, some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, then you see that F of B minus F of A minus F of C is equal to zero, right? But you know that F of A and F of C are the same, so zero is equal to f of b minus f of a minus f of a see something really quick which means that actually it means that um f of b is equal to 2 f of a so f of b is twice as big as f of a. That's important to understand. Now, if f of b is bigger than f of a, then that means that the spring, let's call it the b spring, which is this spring right here, is stretched more. Why is that important? Like you have to like learn how to do these observations because when you draw the free body diagram, you always want to draw it as accurately as you can. That way, when you get an answer, you can look at the free body diagram and see if it makes sense, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the opacity of the image to draw it on top of, to draw top of it so you guys can visualize this better. So the fact that, the fact that um, the spring at B is being stretched more than the spring at A, it means that at the final state, Oops, what did I do? Sorry about this, guys. Technical difficulties. Here we go. So it means that the spring looks something like this. I mean, the, the whole thing. Awesome drawing skills right here. So that means that this length, I'm going to call it LB, and this length, I'm going to call it LA. And you have to understand that LB is bigger than LA, okay? You have to get that. Now, we're going to do some, some tricks with trigonometry that is going to allow us to calculate the rest of this problem. So from here to here to the point where this is being intersected, I'm going to call this X, okay? Now, look at this triangle right here. This triangle right here, this is X and this is LA, right? And 
then we know that you have this angle. We're going to call this angle theta. And this is the same. This is the same as, I would say, this angle right here, theta, right? This other triangle right here. Since the angle is the same, let me draw the other triangle. This is LB. And what is this distance on top right here? This distance is the 50 millimeters or 0.05, this 50 millimeters minus x, right? And this is the same angle theta. These are both the same angle. Since these are both the same angle, that means that x over LA is equal to 0.05 minus x over LB, which is, this is LB. Because the angles are the same, so these two ratios are exactly the same. Now, we know that f of b is equal to 2f of a, but we also know that f of b is equal to k, which is the stiffness of the spring, times lb, which is equal to 2 times f of a is k times the, the length that the f of a is being stretched, right? So we can cancel out the case, and we know that lb is equal to 2 la. So we can replace that in our equation and say x over LA is equal to 0.05 minus x over 2LA. But look, now both sides of the equations are being divided by LA, so you can cancel it out. And all, all you have left is the x. It, this allows you to solve for that x. So x is equal to 0 0.025, I'm dividing both uh, terms by 2 minus x over 2, or 0.5x. So if you solve for x, you're going to get that x is equal to 0 0.01667 meters. Right? So that's like 16.67 millimeters. Now, with the same trick of trigonometry that we did right here, I'm going to do this triangle now, which is the triangle that goes all the way here and all the way here. This triangle, which I'm gonna redraw right here, this is 10 millimeters or 0 0.01 meters. And this length right here, from here to here, is equal to the sum of these two, which is 0 0.1 meters minus x. And this angle is the exact same angle that we had before. So, I'm going to say that x over LA is equal to 0.1 minus x over 0.01. But we already know x, we just found it. So if you plug x in here, you can solve for LA. So let's, let's do just that. Let me see if I can scroll down a little bit. There we go. So 0.01x is equal to 0.1LA minus XLA. When we plug in X, we get that this is equal to 0.0001667 is equal to 0.0833LA. And LA is equal to 0 0.002. Okay, cool. If LA is equal to 0 0.002 and twice LA is equal to LB, LB is equal to 0 0.004. Right? And that means that F of A is equal to K times L A, which is equal to 0 0.01 newtons, because L A is 0 0.002, the stiffness of the spring is given at the beginning of the problem at 5 newtons per meter, so we found F of A. F of B is equal to twice F of A, we found that right here, <coughs> which is 0 0.02 newtons. And the force, F of C, 
is the same as f of a, which is 0 0.01 newtons. Final answer for the force f of b, f of a, and the lengths of the springs, although they weren't asking for those. Final answer.